Whenever it comes to the volcano incident in Tanger, surely cruel, terrible, and dangerous are the words that people immediately think of. This is one of the largest volcanic eruptions today. This volcano has brought a lot of damage to people and property, and to overcome these consequences will certainly take a very long time. So, how terrible is this volcano? Let's find out in this video below. Explore the volcanic eruption of Tanga under the sea. Subterranean volcanoes are formed by the rise and fall of the Earth's surface. The activity of this underground volcano is similar to that of normal volcanoes, but the reaction caused by the eruption will have a strong impact on the sea surface, causing a lot of consequences, directly affecting the lives of people and creatures living in the sea. When the underground volcano erupts, the mangrove will erupt a lot and continuously. These plates are deposited in seawater and cause the surrounding terrain to rise, forming volcanic cones. There are also towering but sinking mountains up to 10,000 feet above the sea level. On the 15th of January, in the island nation of Tango, located in the South Pacific Ocean, there was a terrible volcanic eruption about 50 kilometers north of the capital Nuku. This volcanic eruption is statistically and statistically larger than Pinatubo Philippines eruption in 1991. According to records in the area where this eruption took place, the energy released has the same destructive power equivalent to 1,000 bombs dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. At 1 p.m., rumbling sounds began to be heard from the volcanic island. By about 2 p.m., the noises were getting louder and louder. The warning level for this explosion has been raised. About 3 p.m., a column of arch 10 km high was spilled out, causing this tanga area to raise the alert level to level 3. At that time, there was mango intrusion, and this can be said to be the cause. Led to the eruption of the volcano early that afternoon. By the evening of the same day, the local government ordered the urgent evacuation of people living around here to another area to raise and raised the danger level to level 4. The volcano began to erupt more strongly. There were volcanic columns as high as 20 km and many of the ashes were flown to the west coast of the United States. This ash rainfall seriously affected the main traffic route here. Clouds of ash gradually appeared. There were many fire lights from the volcano flying in the sky and they seemed to have blocked all the sunlight, making the sky dark. The consequences has left after this volcano erupted caused a dev devastating tsunami to this Tanga locality. In addition, the tsunami also penetrated the Pacific Ocean, directly affecting Australia and the west coast of the United States. After the volcano erupted, there have been many studies on satellite images when this volcano took place and scientific researchers have determined that this volcano after eruption left a lot of damage for marine life, directly affecting coral exploitation, eroding the cost of people around. And there is no certainty that this volcano will not be active again in the future. This volcanic eruption has caused a lot of serious consequences for the living environment and directly affects human health. After this volcanic eruption, it released a large amount of SO2 and O2O gas. These are the two main gases that form acid rain. Acid rain affects trees and crops, directly affecting the carbon food source. Agricultural products will certainly not be able to live and grow in such a polluted state. Such as seed rains also greatly affect the water environment here. Without water, all human activities will become more difficult because water is 
associated with life today. Without clean water, life will be seriously threatening. Natural disasters often come quite unexpectedly and sometimes we cannot predict and predict their consequences. The historic volcanic eruption and tsunami in Tonga are the clearest evidence for the harshness of nature. Today's video comes to an end. Thank you for watching this video. If you love to explore the world around, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to support us. For now, bye and see you in the next videos.